A recent viral assignment from the Christian Academy of Louisville sparked national attention. Well, now Cal alumni, organizers, as well as national organizations are all here to show their support for LGBTQ youth. My experience of it was that it was profoundly isolating. A time for reflection for some alumni of the Christian Academy of Louisville. Protest, outcries, all stemming from a recent assignment at Cal asking students to tell their gay friends they can't support homosexuality. J.P. Davis's friend has a child at Cal. He says she was distraught. She was very upset over it, and that was triggering for me because I was that seventh grade student back in the day. Alumni, activists, and national organizations all got together to show their support for LGBTQ youth. Eden Jade Otis organized the event. They say this type of assignment isn't a first for the school. I almost was chuckling at the dinner table because I thought it was probably the most PC version of that lesson plan I had ever read. Alumni Silas Wendelin identifies as transgender, saying they've experienced homophobia in the school, even being kicked out over a pride necklace. They allege teachers suggested therapy for LGBTQ students. We were asked if we had ever considered going to conversion therapy because he knew people that had worked for him. Otis notes today is a day of love and compassion. I just don't want to give them any reason to demonize us for literally just spreading love. So that's the main uh, point of this rally is to just spread as much love and uh, so these kids that we got their back, you know? Davis originally posted about the assignment to make people aware. He wants these young children to know they're not alone. I just want them to know there's a whole world out there of love and compassion and, and frankly, you know, be yourself because there's a lot of people walking around not being themselves. In Louisville, Ford Sanders, WHS 11, on your side.